When Wall Street veteran Jesse Walter goes to work these days, she goes to the supermarket. What are we shopping for today? Gingerbread. Gingerbread. We're making gingerbread houses. We're making gingerbread houses and gingerbread kid cookies. Three months ago, Walter started a new business. All right, so what do we want to do before we start cooking always? Teaching kids to cook. Launching her company, Cupcake Kids, after her previous career as a market strategist crashed. I was at Bear Stearns. I worked on Wall Street for five years and I got laid off June 2nd was my last day. Bear Stearns, the investment banking giant, was the first major casualty of the subprime crisis. Last March, on the brink of collapse, Bear was bought by J.P. Morgan Chase. Did you have a moment of panic the day you found out? I say shock. Half of its 14,000 employees, including Jesse Walter, lost their jobs. She also lost a six-figure salary. I felt like, okay, this has happened, so what am I going to do? Young, single, and with no mortgage to pay off, Walter decided to risk a radical career change. And this economy doesn't scare you? Well, no. I mean, I think it's definitely a tough economy, but... I feel like being scared won't really help. For now, she works alone out of her tiny apartment, hiring part-time teachers to help her run the cooking classes. Income-wise, you have to take a hit. Oh, sure. <laughs> Most definitely. And Walter says she's working harder than she ever did on Wall Street. But business is picking up. She's almost breaking even. So you're thinking, if I can get through this... Definitely, then. You never know. Right. It will be, you know, only, hopefully, good things from here. The economic crisis is forcing many Americans to rethink how they live. All right, pizzas are ready! For Jesse Walter, it's meant a whole new recipe. Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York.